All right, so we got everything for JP's Easter basket and I'm about to show you like a little haul and everything that we're gonna put in his basket and just kind of organize it together. So we ended up going to Five Below and Target and getting everything from there. And I think we got a pretty good selection of stuff that like is useful and like stuff that he's actually gonna play with for like a long period of time. I tried not to get anything that was like a dollar that you would like just oh this is fun this is cute kind of but like i didn't want any of that that would just get like thrown away used once any of that so we went with things that i'm pretty sure he's really gonna like so starting with the stuff from five below we actually got the basket itself from five below it was only like three dollars and it's just like a nice little basket that we can put stuff in Got some basic like sidewalk chalk for a dollar. A bubble wand for a dollar. He really likes these gigantic bubble wands, which means we have to blow the bubbles for him so that he can play in them, but he loves it. We got this little egg. It says it's a hatching buildable dino and it's like inside of slime. So, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what this is gonna be, but I think he's gonna love it just because it's like dinosaur themed. They had this little gecko mobile, which is from PJ Masks. He loves PJ Masks, gecko's his favorite. So we got him this, it's like a little tank. Um, I'll probably take this out of the packaging just so that it's ready to go for when he opens his basket and he can just start playing with it. And then the last thing is this set of Play-Doh and it's actually super, super nice that this came in like so many different colors. It was only like $3, $4 I think. So that was a good find I thought. He likes Play-Doh a lot and we don't really have any at our house. He usually plays with it when he's at my parents but we got him some for here, which is gonna be a mess, but it's fine. I feel like there's usually like a lot of stuff at Five Below that can be like kind of junky that I just don't really want to get. So we only got things that we were like, okay, he's definitely gonna use this. He's gonna like it a lot. And it's actually something that we would like buy for him from somewhere else, not just because it's at Five Below. So that's the stuff that we went with from there. The next thing I'm gonna show you is our little Target haul. So the first thing that we got from Target were these eggs. Um, it comes in this gigantic egg, and then there are a bunch of different eggs in here. It says, nesting Easter eggs, one set, includes 19 colored eggs, there we go. So 19 eggs, it was $5. I just thought that these were good sized eggs that I could put stuff in. Um, if we would have gotten like the normal smaller sized eggs, I feel like all we could fit in there was like tiny little candies that he's not really going to eat because he's not even three years old yet. So the next thing we got were these little throw and stick, um, paddles that you use because he really, really likes to play catch, but he can't really catch yet and it makes him very angry. So I think he might like this. We're gonna have to see. I just kind of wanted to go with a theme of like outdoorsy things that you can play with in like the spring and summertime. So that's kind of what we did here. So next up are these little swim trunks. He's obsessed with sharks right now. So we got him these. They're from Cat and Jack. They have all these different types of sharks on them and they are $10 normally, but Target was having a sale and it was 30% off of any kind of swimwear for toddlers or kids. So. He got these swim trunks that ended up being only $7. And I tried to find him like a little shirt to go with it because he needs swim shirts because he's like as pale as me. But they didn't have any at our Target because our Target is actually so bad. It's always like super disorganized and like there's just never good stuff there. And if there is, you can't find it. So anyways, there were not any good like swim shirts for him. I just wanted a navy blue swim shirt. Didn't have any. There actually might be some at Walmart. Like, Walmart's been stepping it up lately for their like toddler clothes. So, I don't know, might check there. To go with that, I did also find some of these little sandals. Um, they're the Cat and Jack brand. I think these are sized a little weird, just because like, I looked at these and these were size six and he has a bigger foot than that, but these are bigger than his foot. So, I don't know. Anyways, hope these fit, but that's an addition. The next thing we got was this little mess-free coloring book, and it's a baby shark version because he's shark obsessed right now. He loves baby shark. So got this little activity pad for him. Hopefully he really likes it. It's supposed to be like mess-free. You can color on anything but this and it's not gonna show up. And then the last thing that I got was this 
water bottle for him. He loves water bottles. This one is from the brand Ello. And when I tell you that like he drinks out of my Stanley every single day, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's mine and it's not his, but he loves it. So I was like, oh, let's just get him a new cup. He's had the same cup for like a long time. So it was probably time to get him a new cup anyways. And this one pops off like this and it just has a little straw. And I think he'll really like that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty similar to the bottle that he already has, but sticking with the shark theme, we got sharks on there. So hopefully he really likes that. And then we also got some Kit Kats because this is his favorite candy. So a mini Kit Kat inside of these eggs is going to be so exciting to him. I'm gonna go ahead and like take some of this stuff out of its packaging and just put it in the basket for him because honestly like he doesn't need the packaging in there and it's just gonna be much easier when he opens the Easter basket he can go ahead and start playing with this stuff instead of it being inside of something else so so the little gecko is just like a car like it has wheels on the bottom of it but it also has this really annoying zip tie that I'm gonna have to cut off he's gonna be really excited about that actually and then this he's not gonna be excited about but we're still gonna just stick it in there he doesn't have to be pumped about it all. It's something that he needs, so it's fine. And then his water bottle. All right, so here's this little basket full of everything for Easter. I think he's going to really, really like the stuff that's in it. It's all like good for outside play and good for the springtime. So I think this is like the most useful Easter basket we could have done for him. We still have these eggs and the candy for like a little Easter egg hunt. And I also thought if I could, I might fit some of these little Play-Dohs inside of the eggs. Just add a little bit of variety into his eggs and like I could still put a couple of these in the Easter basket, but also take them and fill some eggs with them just so that he has something kind of fun to find in the eggs other than candy. <laughs> I will say I think Target was lacking a little bit in the Easter department but we did wait until the week before easter and this is something that we do like every year and we're like we really should not do that because everything's always gone but we do it anyways and then it gets time and we're like mm, yep we're getting the leftovers we're getting the scraps so this is what we could put together the week before Easter when everybody else has already gone out and bought everything. I think they would probably have a little bit more stuff at Walmart that we could have added to it, but we just really did not want to go to Walmart on a Saturday. So this is what we got. So if you're doing any last minute shopping for your kids Easter baskets, I would say that Five Below is a really good place to go. And Target had some good things that you could get from like the non-Easter section that you could just like throw in an Easter basket and make it more like outdoorsy spring themed and your kid's gonna love it. So that is gonna be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other videos, including my What's in My Hospital bag video, because that's what's coming next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.